Let me show you an easy way to get more range in your Tesla. So this is a new update that Tesla just came out with. So first of all, you wanna click on charging and then you wanna scroll down, see this? Keep accessory power on. So things like your phone chargers, that'll automatically stay on if you don't disable this function, taking range. So power remains after exit to continue charging your accessories. So go ahead and disable that. Now a new way to do all of the functions, turning them off at the same time, turn on low power mode. So things like sentry mode, cabin overheat protection will be disabled to, this is the important part, conserve energy and conserve range. Now the nice thing is, this will automatically kick on. So you don't have to worry about when it actually gets enabled. You can set thresholds. So you can see, you can turn this all the way down to 10% or all the way up to 20%. And that's a good way to save range. Now, again, it'll disable functions like this, sentry mode. So that'll automatically turn off. You don't have to remember to turn it off, just like I just showed you. Now, another way, click on your dynamics. So whenever you click on dynamics, you'll see your acceleration modes. Now, the faster you drive, the less range slightly that you're going to have. If you're very heavy on the accelerator, which I know is fun in a Tesla, uh, you still have to be careful on the road. Put this down to chill. That'll actually save you some range. Turn that to chill. Now, in your fan speed, I've heard a lot of people say that turning on auto will actually save you a little bit of range as well. So it's really that simple. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Charging with low power mode and disabling accessory power on. And that'll also disable things like we said, like sentry mode. So there's a lot of good ways to save range so that you never have to worry when you're on the road. Now you know.